On my journey of reacting to beginner skaters, one fellow creator and I have been having a little bit of a back and forth. This is Hegler. She made some videos learning to skate, I made some videos giving her some tips, and then she went off and applied those tips. But now I've been offering her some advice behind the scenes to take her skating to the next level. So we have the next video from Hegler in this series of back and forth that we've been having. She actually made this other video recently, which was her Ollie progress. And it was kind of like a tutorial as how to learn to Ollie from a beginner. And actually contained like a lot of the advice and tips that I was telling her that she applied and then kind of explains to other beginners. So that's very cool to check that out. But right now we have beginner skateboarding tricks, learn to skateboard as a beginner, my first shove it. Let's get into it. Skateboarding. 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 I actually think skateboarding, skateboarding. is like my new favorite hobby now. Despite yeah, this yeah being my let's sick go. Episode of learning to skate, which hello and welcome if you're new to that. I am still very much a beginner. But Recently, Ooh, I've been good. getting consistent. I've been We're going definitely out gonna quite land often, the shoves, and I think. hopefully that means that you guys will be able to see how much I've improved from the last video. So in this video, I wanted to challenge myself and work on a bunch of different tricks: manuals, shove it, nose pickups, ollies, and nose I'm not gonna lie, this did mean that I did the most falling over that I have ever done. Which That's is great good, for you guys, uh, <laughs> because you get to be entertained. I was really hoping that all of the falling over would pay off, and spoiler alert, it actually did. Yes. I can't believe that I actually just did it. So let's get let's to go. it. I always tell people like you have to slam, you have to fall. The only so way to progress is to fall. One. So I pulled up to my chosen skating location and it was completely empty. It was just me, myself, <laughs> and my questionable skating abilities. This meant that I could really go all yeah. out and test what my little legs were. Look at that of. speed. Not much by the looks of things. Not much. But it did mean that I did want to push myself and I didn't really care about falling over as much, which was quite nice. I wanted to work on getting from A to B using my skateboard yes. as a method of transport. Beautifully Obviously, bent knees. I love to see it. Around, <laughs> like A to B, I think that is going to be something that is really going to help just the way that I am on my board. So instead of yep. just like going up and down the same road and stopping and starting again, I'm going to actually try and use it practically and like turn and stuff because that's also something that I haven't been practicing. And this was actually part of the advice that Let's pro go. skater Ricky, who's been oh. helping me out behind the scenes with yeah, my yeah. skating stuff, bless up. You need to go somewhere, <laughs> you need to go to the shop, go skating. A curb is approaching you, pick up the board, get back on the board, go again. And using skating when you need to will kind of help you build these skills. And on top of it bless being up. useful, so the first trick that I was working on was manuals. And I know what you're thinking, you've done manuals like 50 million times at this point. And I think I've got really good at doing manuals whilst I'm still. And when I say really good, I mean I can do it for like five seconds. That but is good. I've been thinking about doing this for ages, and that is trying to do manuals whilst I'm moving. Apparently yeah. this is a really important step for learning how to do an ollie whilst you're moving. I've also been skating around and trying to do like little manuals over every Every single crack that I see, even though perfect, so like I'm all these kind this. of things, it just builds your like overall board control. So being able to manual, being able to bonk off the crack, being able to go up and down the curbs, like all of those things, it just helps you build the like comfortability with the board. So then later on, when you're trying to do grinds, or you're trying to ollie up and down and things like that, it's like that's like amplifying those skills because i can pretty confidently go off curbs now but it would be nice to get back onto them or else i'm just always going downhill now as much as i thought this was really fun it is actually so lethal like one time <laughs> i fell over yeah off you the could front slip out board, and you're just gonna have to imagine it because i didn't get it on camera so once i'd covered that i thought it was time to move on to the next thing which is ollies Boom. I made a video about this, basically summarizing how I learned to ollie. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description. But I was basically just working on trying to level out the board by using my front foot to nudge the nose and make it even in midair. I was working on this every day when I went out and my ollies went from looking kind of like this to like this. The next trick I was working on, not really that interesting. I was just doing yeah, some this 180 degree twists. Um, I did this over a couple of days. So after I'd cover the basic, so with these, I guess we would call this a kick turn. Normally we do these on like a ramp, but if you do it stationary, it's kind of like twists. working up to that. But one piece of advice I'll give you this. is your board goes where your shoulders and your head go. So here in this one particular, you didn't really turn your shoulders. If you kind of wind up with your shoulders, your board will follow you like no matter what you do. So that's like the kind of best way to get around is really overemphasize your shoulder movements and then over a couple it. of days. So after I'd covered the basics, I thought it was time to move on to something that I had never tried before. 
starting with nose pickups so yeah. in my very first video i learned how to pick up the boards so i didn't have to bend down and look like i was throwing it back every time but i'm kind of getting bored of the way that i'm picking up my board <laughs> no pun intended so i wanted to try something different see i think this way of picking up the board looks so cool and i just <laughs> needed to try it because look you're not Let's even go. looking at the board when you pick it up it looks so cool i kind of got it down so it looks something like this so if you guys also suck, don't give up just yet. Give it three sessions of solid practice and you might be able to get it. Yeah, I mean, Next I step. think that's the most important thing in skating is like, do not give up just yet. Like if you see someone do a kickflip and you say, I want to do a kickflip and you go and you try like one day, it's never going to happen. Like literally never. But that's what I always say is like, build the skills, learn to ollie, learn to manual, learn to kick turn, learn all these things and just keep trying, keep doing it, and then you can build and build and build and then just enjoy skateboarding and have fun. I was trying out the caveman, which yeah, yeah. probably has the coolest name of any skate trick ever. I think it counts as a caveman, or at least it's one of the first stages of doing one. So what I was basically yeah, doing was just throwing the board sure. and trying to connect my feet with it before it touched the ground. There was a lot of falling over on this one, do not get me wrong though. And the board kept on flying up and hitting me in the ankles, it hurts so bad. Do you want <laughs> you to wear like shin pads or something? I have no idea. You can get like socks that have like built in shin pads. My girlfriend, when she was learning to kickflip, I got her those shin pads because it really helped with the confidence just to like not be afraid of the board like flicking into her. So you could definitely try shin pads out. Looking pretty sick and I didn't die whilst I was doing it. So that's always a plus. So the last of the basic tricks that I was trying was practicing my running starts. I did look a bit like a maniac just sprinting. <laughs> that's good. That was sick. Of... The next thing that I'm going to do is the main point of this video, which was trying to get a Let's shot. go. And who better to help me I recognize those Ricky. shoes. I got a bunch of advice <laughs> from him, including start with a shove it, not a pop shove it. I would yep. definitely recommend doing a shove it first and don't really worry about a pop shove it. Currently, I'm not going to lie, I actually don't know. Like, I know the difference between the two of them, like if I saw it, but I don't know the difference between actually doing it. So, first of all, I've got to figure out there that, go. Like, what is the difference between a Look shove at that nice visual shove. representation. So going out on day one, I really didn't have any idea what I was doing. Apart from that practicing without a board was my first step. I did look yep, a little bit good. stupid doing that, though, so I didn't do it for too long. And I know it doesn't <laughs> look like it, but I actually have tried this trick before, and it went horrendously. I would definitely recommend trying stationary only first. So that makes sense why my first few attempts were so bad. Yep. As you can see, I had way too much pop. I was throwing the board around like everywhere. Foot positioning. And I could only get one foot on. And when I did put it on, it was too far up the nose. So the board just went flying up. And oh my God, I had so many bruises after this day. <laughs> it was painful emotionally and physically. I couldn't do it. I tried this from every single position and I tried it about a million times. So after day number one, I sent Ricky the videos of me practicing and I got some pretty good advice. Yeah, when yeah. we're doing a shove it, it is basically 100% from the back here. So our back foot positioning is really important. We really want to be just hugging this corner pocket and just- Solid advice from Rick. Back. And this was advice that I actually <laughs> listened to. So I yeah. practiced jumping around on a stationary Let's go. board. If you're gonna try and do a shove it, there's a lot of like jumping and then landing back on the board. And actually the landing back on the board is the bit that I struggle with. So I'm gonna practice doing jumps, but where I like leave yeah, the board Yeah, it's really good for your like, confidence. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it should get me used to it. And also doing a 180 degree twist just on the board, like keeping the board still and I move. Just to really get degrees. used so, to yeah, landing crossed, back on. I don't die and it goes well. Um, you got it. And on this day, I committed a lot more because I was convinced that I was going to do it within two days of practicing. And I was starting to get really Ooh. close. My second foot was almost on the board a couple of times. Committing a little bit more was really, really helpful, but it did mean that I fell over quite a bit. And it was probably the most <laughs> that I ever ate shit ever in one Let's go. go. But the, also the hope a good bit. progression, you Until know, this, this is a banging trick. Which for half a second, I managed to land two feet on the board <laughs> and I went fucking crazy. I was so happy that I'd finally landed that. And then I kind of realized actually I fell off like two seconds later and it probably doesn't count as a shove it. So that killed my vibe <laughs> instantly. But I wasn't going to let you that got it again, me, so don't I was worry. getting back to do it again. Which in hindsight was a fucking massive mistake. Because I went back <laughs> and I fell over oh, so bad. And honestly, so that's embarrassingly. the most honestly, cliche typical skate it. experience. <laughs> is that like you land the trick and then you say, oh, I'll do it one more time. I'll do it a little bit cleaner. I'll do it a little bit better, a little bit faster. And then you could just can never do it again. That's like the most common skate experience ever. the worst and the most embarrassing fall 
than like I've ever had ever. So I was so hyped because I got, I finally got the shove it. I literally, I could not believe it. I had to go on a little run. And then immediately afterwards, I get that. After that incident, I was kind of a little bit bummed out. So instead of being sad about <laughs> it, I decided to fuel my shopping addiction and I got some new shoes in the hopes that it's actually going to help me land some tricks. I nice. don't know. Hopefully these Converse are magical or something. And it was a rainy day, so I thought I'd put it to good use. And I decided to start practicing on carpet. And I've also yes. been practicing at home without any wheels or trucks. So hopefully that should be helpful. But try to land a shove it with no trucks, no wheels. It kind of makes it way, way, way easier. And at first, Good I advice, wasn't really Rick. moving the board enough. And so I was kind of going round. <laughs> the in the a only circle. thing I will um, fault you for here is don't do it in such a closed space. Because if you do fall like you just did outside, you're going to really smack into the walls and stuff. And it's going to be kind of messy. I found it hard to land two feet on the board, but it literally took me maybe 10 minutes to Boom. be able to get it down looking something like this which made me feel a lot better and ready for day three. I went out yeah. in the middle of the night and again, the same thing happened where I almost landed a shove it, but I fell off almost instantly. I just kind of did it. So I was like half hyped for that, but I really wanted to get a proper shove it down. So day four, I went out again and I'd convinced myself that this was going to be the final day that I went out and I was feeling kind of hopeful about it. Okay, so I've just come to the uni again for the third time, and this time I really do feel like I'm gonna get a shove it. I feel like I've been practicing on today's the day, uh, like carpet for quite a bit. I feel like I'm getting close, so we'll see. So I set myself up in one place which I knew was gonna be really quiet, and I did a shove it. Yeah, on it's going down right now for a few good hours. <laughs> I've noticed all the times the ground is kind of rough. Honestly, if you can find some smooth ground, I think it does make it easier, especially for a shove it, but just for general skating as well, like doing ollies or just kick turns or anything. Like kind of rough ground and is kind of like a negative I was not going to leave until it was done, which did mean that I got very, very hot and sweaty. Right after I was about to give up, again, oh, that was it. I finally landed it and I yeah, did it afterwards. Let's I go. can't believe that I actually just did it. So good. <laughs> I just literally can't even believe that I finally got it like and I actually filmed that on camera as well uh, Round up the video here just because I've done everything that I want to do. I've learned some new tricks I finally nailed some stuff. I'm gonna try to get my shove it down a little bit more But if there's anything that you want me to try in the next video, uh, let me know leave a comment um, I read like every single one of them Okay, so next few things I think you should do is definitely rolling ollie I feel like we're right at the time for rolling ollie rolling shove it could be one too Okay, I'm just editing this video and I realized there's one other thing I forgot to say. Next episode, Hegla goes to the skate park. I think you're ready. It is time. Go to the skate park, make some friends, have fun with it. But I think it's really sick that you stuck with it and you did it. And honestly, you keep listening to my advice like spot on. Like I'm really hyped. But yeah, guys, definitely go check out Hegla. Go to this video and say something nice to her. And if you want to follow her on Instagram, she is posting more skating as well. So I think it's really cool that she's hyped on skating and that we can have this kind of back and forth. I hope it continues. I'm ready to see the kickflip go down eventually. But yeah, that's going to be it. I like skate.